Cause I will never love you, babe. Yeah, so. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> like I love you. Three, two, one, action. So hello everyone, it's Harvey and I'm back for yet another video. I hope you guys are having a great time and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I won't be in front of the camera today because this is more of a technical video if I must say. And I hope you guys are all doing well during this pandemic and staying safe. I love you guys so much. You all know that by now, I hope. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. Um, we are still alive, so let's make it work somehow. And I'm sending hugs and kisses to everyone out there. So in today's video, I want you guys to know that I have been doing this for a while now and I've not been able to record this video and finally I can record it because now I know how to do screen recording. So in this video, you guys, I'll show you guys how to take off a content ID from your videos. Sometimes I'll watch some beautiful videos and then I'll see that the video has been copyrighted by someone because of maybe a six minutes or seven I mean six seconds or seven seconds or ten seconds or twelve seconds of a music they used in the background or called content ID claim and as a result you see the video having millions of views but all the ad revenue goes to the person who has done the content ID claim and I know as a creator that can be very very upsetting and on realistically unfair to the person who have created take their time to create that content but someone now is now benefiting from their labor because of seven seconds of a song they use or eight seconds of a song they use or 10 seconds of a song they used and that can really you know do a lot to your creative process to the point where you may not even want to be doing your videos any longer you may want to take a break because it's hard for someone to have millions of views and then all that ad revenue is going to someone else <laughs> In this video, I'll show you guys how to take it off from your video and keep your upload rather than upload re-uploading your content. You can actually still keep your content going without taking it down and then editing it and putting it back up because you don't want to lose those views that you have gotten. And I know what that feels like. Let's be real. My channel is the Chihuahua channel, so of course I have very little views which is okay it's life we keep it moving so are you guys ready i am so excited to do this video all i'm saying is that please 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 if you benefit from this video in any way shape or form like you were able to take off a, an, a content id claim from your video without having to re-upload the video and you still have your views intact and your ad revenues are coming back just Put this link in your description of the video you did and where it worked or just put share the video like the video something honey something I love you guys so much so are we ready to do this so in this video I am now on my main will I say home page and I'll show you guys how I am doing this first let's go so with this i'm so excited oh my god the video <laughs> why am i so excited okay so for this video i am going to youtube first i'm clicking on my home page click on this i'll get youtube studio of course when i get to my youtube studio come up come up come up. yeah you're seeing everything behind the scene with me i'll click on videos now when i go to my videos there is a place where you will get all your videos of course now i'll go over here and click on filter now we have copyright claims click on that i have this video called hairdresser reacts to mechanism marie you can see that it has a copyright claim on it right when i click over it it will show me c details click on that at this tab i will see the copyright summary st and status it shows me that Content found was from 13 to 1338. Now when I get there, 
rather than we have this segment where they say click trim out segments don't use this because if you use this what will happen is that it will delete the entire video and only keep 13 to 30 13 38 of the video which is stupid i don't know why they created such stuff because when you do that you become so frustrated like wait i've lost everything i just did so don't use this don't select on this action please i'm doing this because i've seen most of the big youtubers have millions of views on their videos and then someone is content claiming it because they used a music of maybe seven seconds eight seconds nine seconds and all that and then all the ad revenues is now going to that person so that's why i'm showing you guys how to take that off so i'll click on that video go back there content claims i found the video now on it it shows details you guys can see that tab there i'll click on that so i'll click on details when i click on these details it will show me on the left side of the screen details analytics editor comments and subtitles i'll click on editor when i click on the editor i would get this now i already know that the part i'm to take off is from the 13 to 13 38 and i would go into my twin bar or you can just go over there on the edit on the twin panel and search for 13 and click on it that will works okay you can do this but this is difficult to get the first part that you're about to trim off so i'll just click 13 put it in that area and say twin so now i now have this when you click on twin it will bring out this tab underneath your video showing you split and cancel click on split it will appear there will be a line that will appear called which is the blue line now when you have this line what you have to do to do the second part of the twin area that you would like to take out i would suggest going over to that edit twin panel area and click on 1338 just wing it until you get to the point you want i would use 1337 16 because it's also known as 1338 i'll click on that when i click on it it will bring out that panel again underneath the video showing me split and clear area all now i'll click on the split so now i now have two panels of blue right two blue lines on that edit twin panel i'll click on the first one on the second one i prefer clicking on the second one because when I click on the first one, it acts stupid. So I'll click on the second one. Click when it shows turns into the drag sign. Click and drag, drag, drag to the first part of the video I want off. Now you see a gray area has appeared. Now I can now play that and see how it comes. If I like what I see click 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 when it gets to this point let's do that waiting 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 now when it gets to that point what happens is that it will just skip over that place and go to the next part see you see what happened there i wanted to show you guys how it clears that off now that i have that i've seen my preview it shows me split clear all and preview now this is an old video so of course it's not showing me my save area but if it's a new video that has a claim on it it will show you the save immediately and now since i have that situation i would go over and click on my say subscribe element stuff like that now why i'm doing this is because i want to have that discharge changes appear for me again so now that i've done this i would say save now when i click on save for a new video it will not do what i just did once i do that twin twin clear off it will show me discard changes or save and i'll just click on save but since this is an old video it will show me i had to click on subscribe elements stuff like that just to confuse the editor honey 
when you're smart you're smart <laughs> so when you do this it will show you save changes then you click on save changes because this would now replace the previous type of video you had and what will happen is that when this happens when I click on save it will save it will give me a new version now when you come back one hour later what would happen is that all the changes you've just made will take out the content ID claim from your video and you can your ad revenues can be restored and then you don't have to re-upload the video because you're scared of losing your views that you've already gotten your millions of views you've already gotten from the video and you don't have to take the video down because you have a copyright claim of one minute or 30 seconds or 10 seconds of the video okay so now it shows me that the video is being processed please check back later so when I check back in an hour later I'll show you guys the result from this video and please if you try this and it works for you all I ask is please share the video or you can just put the link in the video you worked this idea on and yeah that's it I am surprised that people have editors the big youtubers and they don't know this so I wanted to share this knowledge with you guys thank you guys so much and I'll see you back in a short while to show you the outcome so now I that my video is being processed I can just go back to my studio and then sometimes I check it in the next 30 minutes or so but now I'll show you guys something when I click over this video that has this copyright claim and I say see details when I go to this place select action did you see what happened it shows me unavailable while video is processing that means the process is going on if I come back here and I don't see this after doing all that work that means it wasn't working so until I have this then it shows me that yes you've done the right thing so when this comes back I will show you guys the final result okay one hour later the copyright ID claim or content ID claim close off from the video so this works mostly when you're doing videos where you use maybe eight seconds of a music and now your entire video of 20 minutes is now being copyrighted because of that eight seconds or more or so you just take out that part of the video without having to re-upload the video and losing your views it works but if the entire video is copyrighted then when you take out one part then the other part will be copyrighted so you at the end of the day that video you have to take it down or keep it there if you want if you want it for the views but if it's maybe eight seconds or so this system works perfectly okay now let's go back to that video and you will see that the copyright claim has changed now this is because this video the entire video itself is a copyrighted video so what has happened let's go back to that video and see if we still have the 13 and the 38 still copyrighted let's see so we have that video okay so it shows me there is a copyright claim still but that's because this video is completely copyrighted and this is a video I will take down when I become a YouTube partner okay so when you go back there you can see that the content found during copyrighted or so it's now from 2 to 233 so that means the entire video itself is being copyrighted that's why so if I take this out, they will put it in a different place and at the end of the day, the entire video would be, won't be even valid. So this shows that what we did has actually taken off that claim. So if you have a video where you just have six seconds of a music in the background or seven seconds or eight seconds and they're copywriting your entire video, this works perfectly just take that out and your video will still be there and you can see that the views are still there 300 and something views which means your views are still there your video is still public and then your ad revenues can come back to you okay hope it works and good luck okay so for all those who have been sad uh, oh my god i can't believe that my 20 minutes video is being copyrighted because of a eight seconds of a song I used in the background for my intro or outro and now I'm now 
losing all the income I meant to get from this video, now you can get them back, okay? And that's my service to YouTube creators out there. Love you all. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much for all those who like my craziness and all that stuff because I cannot be someone else. It changes everything.